Hey guys, Liam here. There's been a lot of excitement over the new Diablo, so here's a brief guide to get it installed and working. Firstly, you need to be in desktop mode on your Steam Deck and load up a web browser and go to the battle.net website. You'll find an easy download link at the top and when it's done, you can just close your browser. The next thing to do is load up the Discover Store and download ProtonUp-Qt and open that. Inside ProtonUp, download GE Proton 7-51 Diablo 4. This is a special build made just for this to get around a GPU error when launching. And once you've downloaded that and installed it, you can then just close Proton up. The next thing to do is to close and reload Steam as this will refresh your compatibility layer list so that GE Proton actually shows up. Once Steam is reloaded, hit the add a game button in the bottom left corner, hit add a non-Steam game, and then the browse button. And then in the file browser here, go up to the top and select home slash deck and go into your downloads folder. Select all files from the bottom to have the battle.net installer actually show up. Select it, then hit open and add selected program. Now in Steam, search for the battle.net shortcut you made. Go into the properties, compatibility menu, tick the box and select the GE Proton Diablo 4 version that we just downloaded with Proton Up QT. Now you can just run the battle.net installer and I'll show two ways of doing it first on the SD card and then the SSD. By default it will install onto the SSD but you can pick the SD card. My SD card just shows up as the D drive for example. Yours may be different, click around and put it wherever you want. After you've gone through the battle.net installer, do not log in just close it completely because we need to update the shortcut. Go into the properties on the shortcut, hit the browse button, then up the top we need to select the slash, then we go into the run folder, media, and the SD card shows up as mmcblk. Go in there, into the battle.net folder, and select the battle.net launcher exe, as what we're going to use, and then just rename the shortcut if you wish. Now, if you were just going to do it straight on the SSD, the way is similar, but the location of where it installs to update the shortcut will be different. Go through the install like in the previous example, but change nothing in the battle.net installer. Once installed and closed before logging in, again, go into the properties, hit the browse button, now at the top, we need to go into home slash deck, then into dot steam, root, steam apps, compact data. Now you'll need to find the folder that the installer created and you can actually see it just by making the box a bit bigger to see the one with the most recent date on it. That will be where battle.net is installed. So go inside into pfx, drive underscore c, program files x86, battle.net, and then select battle.net launcher.exe. Hit open and again, rename it if you wish. Now that's the basic setup done. After it's installed and you've changed the shortcut as I showed you to point to it properly, here I actually chose to go back into gaming mode as I found it easier as in desktop mode the on-screen keyboard kept flickering and kept disappearing and kept making the battle.net app disappear. So in gaming mode just find battle.net in your non-steam section of your library and then go through the login. If you need a mouse cursor you can just hold down the steam button and use the right trackpad for a cursor and the right trigger for a mouse button or just tap the touch screen. And if you need to manually bring up the keyboard it's just steam and x. Once you've logged in you may find that the user interface isn't in the right place but if you just click around along the top of the battle.net interface it will flicker and then bring the whole app into focus so that you can actually see the install and launch buttons.
Now you can install Diablo, just select wherever you want on your Steam Deck to have it installed. It doesn't matter as much here as the Battle.net launcher will remember the location. You don't have to go into any properties and change it around again. Once installed, you can then just launch it. It will still give a GPU error, but you can just hit OK and it will still load as normal. And there you have a fully working Diablo 4 on Steam Deck, either on the SSD or the SD card. The actual login may take quite a while though, and it can crash as well as it's not a finished game. And remember, we are using a compatibility layer. Diablo 4 was never designed to run on the Steam Deck that uses Linux, but if you do think it's crashed, you can just force quit it by tapping the Steam button and exit and relaunch. For settings, I do recommend putting it into the low details. Just put everything on low and you will feel a fair bit of stuttering in some places. That's largely down to the shader cache being built up as you run it. Like a lot of games, it will eventually be a lot smoother. Now, I actually haven't played since Diablo 2, which I absolutely adored. I remember going through every single class and then the expansion as well when I eventually got that. This was my first proper action RPG love and really there was nothing else like it. From my brief bit of gameplay, it already feels really fun and I'm going to be playing quite a lot of this, I think, because the performance once the shaders are built up is pretty good with everything set down to low and it still looks great on the Steam Deck as well. Do let me know what you think in the comments. It's really great to see that even during the pre-release that we can get it working so easily, even though it's not supported on the Steam Deck at all. If you do get stuck on anything or have any issues, do jump into my Discord server. There's a link in the description. There's loads of us in there ready and waiting to help you out. But that's it for this video. I hope you appreciate it. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.